What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. In today's video, it's a part two of the pedal board series, I guess we can call it. This time I'm running the pedal board with four cable methods, so let's go. So what is four cable method? That just means I'm running some effects into the front of the amp and others in the loop of the amp. The amp being today my Wellagen Overdrive Special that has the built-in two buffered effects loop, basically the dumbbellator, which for these amps you need to function with the whole pedal board. <laughs> So what is our signal chain? Our signal chain is as follows. As usual, my Les Paul into the interface, interface out into the TC polytune that has the buffer engaged, polytune into the full tone super tram, super tram into the vertex ultraphonics, ultraphonics into the way huge blue hippo for the chorus, back into the interface and out, and that goes in the front of the amp. Now, out of the amp's effects loop, back into the interface, interface to Strymon Timeline, Timeline to TC Hall of Fame Mini that has the Robin Ford Spring Fever preset on there, back into the interface, and that goes back into the Amps Effects loop. So in retrospect, if I run everything in the front of the amp, the delay and reverb is after my overdrive pedal, right? If I want to use the Amps overdrive, then I would connect the four cable methods so I have delay and reverb in the loop. So when I engage amp overdrive, those two effects are clean. They're not distorted and they're not in the way. So now with all that being said, let's check out some tones. Here is my clean tone on my neck pickup. Great bass clean tone. But now let's add a pillow, which is reverb. Again, the Robin Ford Spring Fever preset on the TC Hall of Fame Mini. Pretty fast spring reverb type, spring fever. <laughs> so now let's check out some overdrive. Vertex Ultraphonics is currently my go-to Dumble style pedal, it works awesome. And I have it really dialed in right now, so it sounds pretty close to the amp overdrive. So here it is, again, with the reverb engaged also. Back to the clean tone. Great Dumble style overdrive. If I want to boost that same tone, I can engage the super trim. So here is the bass tone. Boosted. Again, back to the clean tone. Awesome. Way huge blue hippo for some 
chorus modulation fun. Now I'm going to turn the delay off, turn the reverb off, and now let's engage the Strymon timeline that's on my current 2290 setting, and that can get you more in the uh, Robin Ford type ballpark that we're already in. <laughs> so here it is with no overdrive. Right? Engage the ultraphonics. Right? It's still there, but when I stop playing, you hear it. If I change presets and go to my, what I call Robin Ford 1, which is 140 milliseconds, you can get some more current Robin Ford type tones. So that's basically all the tones with the pedal board. Now, again, remember, delay and reverb is in the amps effects loop. So now if I go to my amp overdrive and play similar stuff like Revelation, that's just no effects. Add my reverb. is still not in the way at all. Same with if I go back to my 2290 setting on the timeline, same exact thing, not in the way at all. Magic Sam Inside Story. So that tone was amp overdrive, delay and reverb in the loop and boosting it with this full tone super tram. And again, here is our tone with no effects on, just amp overdrive. <laughs> 
and delay. Add in a reverb. And if you want more distortion or more boost, add in the full tone super trim. That's the tone of the gods. <laughs> or at least the tone that I'm going for. So now, here's the fun part for you guys. Let's see if you guys can decide which is amp overdrive or pedal overdrive in the Vertex Ultraphonics. We'll keep it the same. We'll keep the 2290 delay type setting on and the reverb. So now I'm going to zoom in on the guitar so to get a better cool angle. And let's go from there. Alrighty. So for you, the audience, it's hopefully simple. <laughs> which is amp overdrive and which is pedal overdrive. So first up. Leave your comments down below. Which is amp overdrive or which is pedal overdrive? Well, alrighty guys, that's today's video on running the pedal board with four cable method. I know a couple of you guys in the comments were asking about it, so I hope this video helped you figure out how to run four cable method and ways you can do it yourself. If you did find this video helpful, let me know in the comments below. Please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.